video tutorial on how to basically cut out your images. Um, to do this, you're going to make a clipping mask is what they call it. So it's kind of like a, think of like, I don't know, I, I like to bake cookies and maybe like a cookie cutter. You have to like draw that shape of that cookie cutter you want to like cut out of your dough. I don't know, maybe that's confusing. Um, so anyways, what I'm going to do is I have to use my pen tool to draw my specific clipping mask. So you can decide whatever, whatever it is you want to crop out. It doesn't have to be a square or a rectangle. It can be any crazy shape using the pen tool. So this project is designed to give you much more practice with the pen tool. Okay, so um, it's also a good idea to practice your zooming and panning um, control as well. So I think what I want to do, I'm just going to crop out, maybe, um, maybe I'll include her pants or the pants. Okay, so I'm going to click one anchor point here and I'm going to go up to her hand. I'm going to click. I'm going to zoom in so maybe I could do a decent job around her hand. Um, I'm going to put an anchor point here. I'm going to click and drag and then I'm going to click right here. Now this is kind of annoying to have my black fill. I think it would be easier if I had a clear fill and then it would also be easier if I had like a color that's really easy to identify for my stroke. So green, I can see that pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna click here, I'm gonna click. I'm gonna pan by holding space bar. I'm gonna maybe make this a little round. I'm gonna click and drag, click, click and drag, click, click and drag, panning up, click and drag. You don't want a million anchor points, you know. Try, oh, it's kind of far. Try to be conservative with them. Panning up. Now we can always go back in later with our white arrow to kind of fix up anything we need to clean up. Clicking and dragging, click and drag, click and drag, her head gets cut off. Click and drag, click. Do I want the curl? Should I lose the curl? It's up to you. A little more intermediate and time consuming to grab that curl or maybe you end up grabbing a little bit of background around it as well there's different artistic ways to approach that I'm gonna click and drag pan clean. not the end of the world if some of the edges you know are cut off okay click clicking and dragging click Clicking and dragging, pull out those handlebars, panning. I hold the space bar to pan. You want to get real comfortable at that. It'll make drawing an illustrator a little bit more fun. Click, click. Um, I'm going to pan over. Okay, there's my open anchor point from where I started. So I want to hover over it. Do you see a little circle that just appeared on my pen tool? That's a great signal. So I'm going to click one time. Now my path is closed. So I'm going to hit command zero to zoom out. Okay, um, so I'm just going to select the path I drew just for fun. I'm going to make it a thicker stroke so you can see it. There it is. Um, and it's selected. Now, what we need to learn about is, I'm going to go object or edit. Uh, oh, geez, I kind of forget. I'm just object, clipping mask, make. So I always use command seven. I use this tool an awful lot, but if that's hard to remember, it's filed under object down at the bottom and clipping mask. Now for it to work, two items have to be selected. If I try it right now, it's going to give me an error notice. Um, you have to have more than one object. So what it's going to do, the top object is going to basically cut out the bottom object. Okay, so I have to select the background, the picture. Did you notice when I selected the picture, my green line got deselected? So how am I going to select both of them? Okay, so you need to hold shift and that can select two things or I could have clicked and dragged. But sometimes if you have a lot of things on your board, it's just easier to click one, hold shift, click the other. Okay, I have two items selected. Window, I'm gonna open my layers. I'm gonna hit this little arrow thing. So see how I have two items selected? That's what those two little blue dots mean. So that kind of shows, oh yeah, two things are selected, cool. And it looks like my path is on top of my image, which is also important. 
Okay, I'm ready for the clipping mask. Object, clipping mask. Again, I'm only doing this to visually show you, but I would never go to object, clipping mask, make. I would just hit command seven, and I highly recommend you do that. Okay, cool, there we go. So now she has a clear background, and that's what we want. Um, you'll notice um, when you look at, like, you Google inspiration boards out there, you'll notice sometimes they do, like, a white background, or maybe in this case she has kind of a shadow. You can play around with your clipping mask. Here you go. Maybe this one they just clipped kind of white out, or you can add a white line around it. Uh, I don't really see that on this one. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's always good. See, here's another white. Um, outline. So sometimes you might want to outline some of your images to make them a little bit more predominant, which is totally fine. Looks like these are all outlined as well. So um, so to do that, you have that clipping mask. Um, you, uh, what It's automatically grouped. So if I click here in the clipping mask, you have your two objects. They're basically grouped. So do you guys remember how to temporarily ungroup something? You just double click it. Click, click. So here we go. So now there's my mask, right? I'm going to hit Command-Z to put it back. And all my mask is, it's a clear line at this point. So I could just make it a color if I want it. I could make it white, like those other ones are white. Right now I'm just making it green. I can make the stroke bigger if I like. I can also copy it. I can say Edit, Copy, or Command-C. And then I'm going to double click to get out of that. And so now there's like an outline around her. I can hit Command-V because I copied it. Right? So this is just that path I drew with the pen tool, just that random shape that I drew. I could change it to not be a stroke, and I could change it to be a fill. And then now we have, like, a shadow. Um, so if I want it behind her, I can say Command-X. I can select the image. I can say Command-B to paste it behind. You know, and maybe you do some kind of drop shadows. That's might as well. You worked so hard making that, um, that, that shape, right? So um, anyways, you're going to be using the clipping mask a lot. Um, this is designed for you to use the pen tool. Um, and you'll also be resizing, holding that shift button. So I'm going to wrap up this tutorial. Reach out if you guys have more questions about the clipping mask. And of course, questions about that pen tool that we will use all semester long.